I'm not the black sheep of the family anymore. Of my family anymore. You know, so let, let me just say this before I even begin. You know, um, I have love for my family, you know, on both sides. You know what I'm saying? My, my father's side and on my mother's side. I got love for, for both of my families, straight up, you know. But what I will say is, you know, I, I don't communicate with a lot of my family members. And that's because, you know, I've been the black sheep for, for years upon years upon years. And for those that don't know what a black sheep is, and it's crazy how, you know, you would identify something negative as being black, you know. But that's another conversation. But for those that don't know um, what a black sheep is, is it's a person that basically doesn't think like the family, you know, that has done things that the family totally disagrees with you know for example you could if you're female you know what i'm saying well men and women do it but i'm saying mostly women do it you know say for example when you were younger you know and you were in college and you didn't have any money and you you stripped you know what i'm saying you was a stripper for a couple of years or whatever in order to pay your college tuition or whatever you know you would be categorized as um the black sheep of the family you know, um, let's take example me, you know, um, I didn't, I mean, yo, I've worked jobs, you know what I'm saying? I've worked a traditional job before, you know, and I'm not embarrassed or ashamed to work a traditional job now, if need be, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I try to be, you know, as much as an entrepreneur as I, as I can be, you know what I mean? So, you know, like I was always the type of person that didn't work a, a regular job you know and you know a lot of things that I did you know um the family disapproved you know of it you know um I I used to smoke and drink like you know a lot you know my family didn't do that so you know that's what I'm trying to explain to you that's how I was a black sheep and it doesn't necessarily have to be like negative stuff you know what I mean like you could just think different, you know, like I'm not a religious person. I'm not, I'm not a Christian, you know, even though I was raised in a household, you know, um, my upbringing rather was, um, you know, Christianity, you know, my mother went to church and we had to go to church. You know, my mother basically forced my sister and I to go to church, you know, but once I, you know, left my mom's house, and I started researching, you know, and doing my own due diligence when it came to the three monotheistic uh, religions, what is Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, I was like, nah, that's not for me. You understand? Once I found out that, you know, <laughs> the Holy Bible has different versions of it, and one of the versions is King James Version, you know, of the Bible, I was like, nah, that's that's okay. I don't, I don't want no part in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you say that that's the word of God, but then you have the, the, the King James version of the word of God? I, it just did, like, I could go in a religion all day, every day, straight up. But for the most part, I wasn't religious. You know, my values and my principles was way different from my family. You understand? So that made me be the outcast. That made me be the black sheep of the family. And I can honestly say now, you know, that I'm not. And the reason why I'm not the black sheep of the family is because I don't want anyone acceptance. I just don't. I don't care what the family thinks, my family members think about me. I don't. You know, um, to be the black sheep, in my opinion, is to be the outcast, to be the one that, you know what I'm saying, the family could point the finger at and say, he didn't do this that way and this is the reason why his life is blah 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 like it, it seems to me that no matter like 
what a black sheep does, they're always being critiqued, whether positive or negative. And see, I stay out of the way of that because I stay out of the way, period. I don't live amongst my family members. I got two family, I got like two cousins that I that I just found out not too long ago that live here in Charlotte. But I mean, we really don't, like I, I, I reached out to, to, to them, you know, and they got their own lives and everything. And, you know, they was like, yo, once the coronavirus, you know, get you know, get through that, you know, we'll come visit or whatever have you in it. That hasn't, you know, nothing has happened. I'm not like hating, you know, or I'm not mad or nothing like that. You know, we not, we're not close like that anyway. So I don't take that to heart. But for the most part, outside of those two, I try to stay away. Like, I don't, my thing is like, I try to live like hours away from family members. So there won't be no pop-ups, straight up. Cause I don't want nobody, I don't want to get into it with my family members. I just don't, you know what I'm saying? So I live where I live, I do what I do, and I respect whatever, you know, whatever family member does what they do. So like, I give you an example. Like, say, for example, if I want to go see my aunt, right? And she's a Christian. And, you know what I'm saying? She's like, bow your heads, you know, like like when you pray over the food and all the rest of that stuff. And, you know, she's like, thank Jesus and thank God and blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't, you know, if I go over her house, right? I would know that this is how she gets down. So I can't hate on her. I can't be in her house and say, man, I, I'm not praying. I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. In other words, I have to follow her rules and regulations. And that's the same thing when it comes to my house. Like, I don't care what God you worship. I don't care how you get down in your house and how you feel about whatever I do. And when you come visit me, you're going to respect what whoever I'm worshiping and whatever I'm doing. Other than that, you can leave. You know what I realize about family, man? Family, family has... Have, has made a collective, collective effort in order to put down certain rules and regulations. And when you don't follow those rules and regulations, like prime example, you go to school, you graduate from high school, you go to college, you graduate, you get a college degree, and then you go on to the work field. If you don't follow that shit, then you're the black sheep. You know what I'm saying? You, this is this thing where, you know, if you ask the average Christian, like, yo, why are you a Christian? You know what they're going to say? Most times they're going to be on some shit like, well, you know, my mother was a Christian and her mother was a Christian. No, no, no. That's not the question that I'm asking you. I'm asking why you are. Like, in other words, what I'm trying to trying to say is that everybody, family always wants to follow tradition. And I'm not into having a traditional lifestyle. I want my shit to be unorthodox. I don't want a motherfucking work nine to five and, and, and then retire in 30 damn years and 40 years. I don't want to live in one place, you know what I'm saying, for long periods of time. That's not what I want to do. I don't want to so-called play it safe. You know what I'm saying? Saving money in a bank and it's just, you, I'm just sitting on money that I'm saving. Nah, nah, let's take a gamble. Let's shake this shit up a little bit. This is what I realize about, about families, man. Is that they don't like when shit is unorthodox. When it's not traditional. And that's when they'll plague you with that black sheep of the family shit. When somebody goes off and do something different. And it doesn't necessarily have to be negative. It could be positive. You know what I'm saying? I, yo, before I wrote my two books, I didn't tell nobody. Nobody in the family knew I was writing books. You know what I'm saying? When I make my moves, you know what I'm saying? Like when I moved to Atlanta, nobody knew in the family that I was moving until after the fact. Because I didn't want to catch no feedback. And that's another thing, like, family can't tell you what the fuck to do if they ain't paying your bills. That's another thing, like, I'm a grown man now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, back, in the, back in the days when I was younger, I used to let some of that shit fly. 
because I was younger, you know what I'm saying? And some of them, no lie, I'm just going to be honest with you, some of my family members I lived with, so I had to tuck in my tail, like a, you know, like a scared dog. But now that I'm an adult, it don't nobody pay, nobody pays my bills, nobody takes care of my bills but me. Now, I get to do and say what I want to fucking say. That's all a part of being an adult. This is the reason why people get their own shit, drive their own cars, car, or well, cars. You know, some people got several cars. Have their own job, make their own money, so they can be able to do what the fuck they want to do in life, whether it's good or bad. And see, the thing about about me, man, I don't give a fuck about what people do. I don't give a fuck. I've heard uh, uh, some of the family members. Did this, that, that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, I, I tell my family members, the one that be talking about the other family members, like, don't tell me that shit because I don't give a fuck. I don't care what other people do. I don't. If that's what they want to do, that if that's what makes them happy, then that's what makes them happy. I'm not here to chastise, judge them, or pass judgment because I wouldn't want that the same to, to be done on me. Period. But this is a new day and time And everybody's not going to follow tradition And that's something that the family That all families need to accept Every last fucking one And if you can't accept it Then guess what I can't fuck with you I can love you from a distance From afar I'm not saying I hate you Just because I don't see you I don't talk to you every day Or every month Or every year That doesn't mean that I hate you Or I don't love you It's not what it means It what it means is that I just can't deal with you like that. Certain family members that I can't I can't sit in a room with but for so long. They start yapping, especially the older ones. The younger ones are a lot more open-minded. And I can sit down and talk to them and reason with them or whatever happened. But the older ones are so stuck in their fucked up ways, so it's ridiculous. Like this ain't 1868. You don't have to call a white man massa anymore. Straight up. And it's just crazy because, you know, like you, you try to teach in school these, these older folks, you know, on the way of the world now. And they just, they still fucked up. They still can't seem to get it. I don't want to talk. I don't want to... I don't want to mention family members, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, my aunt, such a, I don't want to say that, but I'm, I got a few family members that, yo, years back, I've been on online for years. I've been making money online for years. I had my first website set up in 2006. You understand? And a few of my family members just didn't understand it. Like, how are you making money online again? And, da, 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 and this and that, and so forth. Like, you can't do it and you blah, blah, blah. Yeah, get the fuck out of my face. Let me tell you something. In, in my mind, blood ain't thicker than water. It ain't. Blood ain't got shit to do with nothing when it comes to my sanity, my peace of mind. And what I realize, and I'm about to be done with this video. What I realize, man, is if I got to give up my sanity and my peace of mind in order to be around family members, then I don't want to fucking be around them. That plain and simple. So this video is dedicated to all of the black sheep around the whole world. Hey, listen, you're not wrong for not fucking with your family members. And if they don't want to fuck with you, fuck them. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just being real. You make your own money. You 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 got your own house, apartment, your own car, and, and all of that shit. What the fuck? You, wait, wait, why do you need anyone? Nigga, if you get, I ain't trying to be fine, I'm just being real. If you get like bored and you ain't got no children, you don't have no children, you don't have a, a girlfriend, boyfriend, a husband, wife, or whatever, get you a damn dog. Other than that, stop trying to trying to uh, uh, win your family over. Because that's that, 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 one, one more thing, and I, I promise I'm done. That's another thing that I see. People trying to trying to win their family members over. Trying to do things outside of character in order to get back into the family and not be the black sheep. Stop doing that shit. Be yourself and do you. And you'll be all right. Other than that, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video. Peace.